subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Asian Elephant. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy Hero. Hero, do you want to help me plant an apple tree? Let's start by digging a hole. Great! Now let's place this apple seedling into the hole and cover the hole. We only need to give the seedling some water so it can grow well. Hey! Did you see that, Hero? Let's check out what is hiding behind that tree. Whoa! It's an elephant! I think it's a baby elephant. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, young one. Hi, Katie. So did you find anything about the baby elephant? Hi, Leo. The elephant you found is an Asian elephant, the largest land animal in Asia. Though they are smaller than the African elephant, Asian elephants can grow up to three meters tall. Wow, that's so big! Elephants have long noses called trunks. They use their trunks like we use our hands. With their trunks, they can greet each other like a handshake and pick up objects as heavy as a tree. As heavy as a tree? Wow, elephant trunks sure are strong. Earlier, we saw the baby elephant grab some grass with its trunk. That's because they need to eat a lot of food. They eat all kinds of grasses, small plants, bushes, fruit, twigs, tree bark, and roots. Where do Asian elephants live? The Asian elephant can be found in lowland forests and grasslands of India, China, and Southeast Asia. Baby elephant must be hungry. We should bring it back to its mother. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. footprints up ahead. Let's follow it. Wait, Leo. We've been walking for a long time, and Hero and Baby Elephant seem thirsty. Hmm, you're right. Perhaps we should take a break. Wait, Elephant. Where are you going? <laughs> Smart Elephant, you found water. He's using his trunk as a shower. <laughs> That's wet! <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh dear, there are crocodiles. We'd better get away from here. What's the matter, baby elephant? Those crocodiles are getting closer. A mouse? Don't tell me you're afraid of a mouse. Leo, the crocodiles. Uh, Hero, could you? <laughs> okay, now let's go! So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the baby elephant's herd, just look for the color gray. Not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay. But look for the color gray. I see. So not for yellow like hay, or blue like the blue jay, but, but look, look for, for the, the color, color gray. gray. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the baby elephant's herd and mother, 
You have to look for the color gray. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the baby elephant's herd. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. But those are rocks. So let's keep looking. So is that gray? Yes, it is. But those are not elephants. Those are rhinos. So let's continue. Is that the color gray? Yes, it is. And it's a herd of elephants. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, it must be the baby elephant's mother. We did it. We found the baby elephant's herd and mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! Today, we found a baby Asian elephant in our garden. We learned that the Asian elephant live in lowland forests and have wide padded feet. So we went to the lowland forest and brought baby elephant back home to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The dugong. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come on in, Hero. It's really nice in here. Look, Hero, I'm a shark. <laughs> Don't worry, Hero, it's just me. I'm not a shark. Hero? I'm really not a shark. Uh, shark! Get out, hero! I, I think that's not a shark, hero. Phew! But what is it? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. Almost. There. Our latest visitor is a dugong. It is also known as a sea cow. A sea cow? It doesn't look like a cow. It's sometimes called a sea cow because dugongs like to eat grass, just like the cows in the farm. But dugongs eat the grass in the sea. Sometimes they also eat jellyfish and shellfish. So where do dugongs come from? Dugongs can be found in the waters in the Indo-Pacific. Unfortunately, there aren't many dugongs left, so some places in the world try to protect them. Hmm, our swimming pool isn't big enough for this dugong, so we should take it to one of those places that can protect it. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. There. I think it's coming closer. They're coming at us fast. We better get out of their way. They're following us, Leo. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! I need to warn you, Junior Rangers. I told you dugongs were hunted for their meat and oil. But I forgot to tell you that in some places, this is still happening. Even when people are not allowed to do this. So be careful. Oh no! The people on that boat must have seen our dugong and want to catch it. Leo, they're shooting at us. 
Oh no, they're pulling us in. Their boat is much stronger than our jeep. Hero! What's Hero doing? I think, yes. Hero is biting through the rope. Good job, <laughs> Hero. We're free. Now quickly get Hero in so we can leave. I've got Hero, Leo. Okay, everybody sit tight. We lost them. Let's throw this net in the trash when we get home. Otherwise, animals might get stuck in it. Great idea, Leo. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! To find a home for the dugong, just look in the sea for seagrass. Not for milk in a glass or a drawing class, but look in the sea for seagrass. I see. So not for milk in a glass or a drawing class, but, but look, look in, in the, the sea for seagrass. Sea Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find a home for the dugong, you have to look in the sea for seagrass. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a place with seagrass. Should we go there? No, because there is a lot of rubbish in the water. We should look for a place that's clean. Look, there's a nice and quiet place. With the dugong like this? Hmm, I can't see any seagrass, so let's look somewhere else. So what do you think about this place? It's nice and quiet, and there is seagrass, a lot of seagrass. This will make a great home for the dugong. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Look! There are more dugongs here. Goodbye, dugong. We did it. We found a home for the dugong. Hooray! Yay! We found a dugong in our swimming pool. We learned that dugongs are called sea cows because they love to eat seagrass. Unfortunately, there aren't many dugongs left in the world. So we took it to a safe place with plenty of seagrass. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The raccoon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I'm a Junior Ranger, but you can call me Super Ranger Leo for now. And this is my puppy and sidekick, Hero. <coughs> Did you hear that, Hero? It's coming from behind the house. Let's go. What a mess. Hey, it's a gray and white animal. It's wearing a mask too. Oh wait, that's not a mask, that's his fur. It's a raccoon. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here, raccoon. Bye, Katie. So what did you find out about the raccoon? Hi, Leo. Well, you already know it's a raccoon, but it's also known as the common raccoon or the northern raccoon. The raccoon originates from North America, but today, common raccoons can also be found in parts of Europe and Japan. They can live anywhere from forests to marshes and even in urban areas. Urban areas? You mean like cities and towns? Yes. In urban areas, raccoons can build homes and resting places in boxes, abandoned vehicles, and chimneys. To find food, raccoons sometimes look through trash bins and may even break into kitchens. 
That's where I found our raccoon, in our trash bin. Although they can find food in urban areas, raccoons belong in the wild. That is where they can hunt for worms, nuts, and fish to eat. We should bring the raccoon back to its natural habitat, where it can find its own food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. What is it, Hero? Hey, look! There are more raccoons in the tree. Maybe it's the family of our raccoon. But they don't look very friendly. Raccoons prefer to live alone. But sometimes, male raccoons form a group of up to four. They do this to fight against other raccoons during mating season. They also do not like young raccoons that are not their own. Hey, stop that! Oh, it says here that raccoons do not like bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Hero, what are you doing? Hero, I don't think this is the right time. Hero, I don't think it smells enough to scare the raccoons away. That's a much better idea, Hero. We did it! They're gone at last! So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Raccoons eat a lot of animals that live in water. So, if you want to find the raccoon's home, just look for a fallen log near a river or lake. Not for a strawberry shortcake or a chocolate milkshake, but look for a fallen log near a river or lake. I see. So not for a strawberry shortcake or a chocolate milkshake, but, but look, look for, for a fallen, fallen log, log near a river or, or lake. lake. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the raccoon's home, you have to look for a fallen log near a river or lake. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a fallen log. What's that? It's a snail on a rock. So let's move on. Is this a fallen log? Hmm, no. It's a pile of leaves. But there is a lake. So I think we're getting closer. Is that a fallen log? Yes, it is. And that's a raccoon family! Well done, Hero! We're coming over now! Oh, so cute! It's a big family! We did it! We found the raccoon's home and its family! Great job, everyone! Yay! Hooray! found a young raccoon in our trash bin. We learned that raccoons can live in the wild and in urban areas, but it's much safer for raccoons to live in the wild. So we went to the forest and found the raccoon's home and family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Dawn Bat. Hi, 
everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, buddy. Look, it's starting to bloom. It's beautiful. Now I will draw it. Look, Hero, my very first drawing of a night-blooming plant, the water lily. Oh, night-blooming plants are plants with flowers that open only at night. Let's look for more night-blooming plants to draw. Hmm, what's that over there? Come on, everybody, let's have a look. That's not a plant. It's a bat! I wonder what kind of bat this is. Do you think it wants to drink our blood? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, what kind of bat is it? Hi, Leo. The bat you found is a dawn bat, which is also known as the cave nectar bat. It drinks nectar not blood. And nectar is the sugary liquid found in plants, right? That's right. But this bat prefers nectar from night-blooming flowers. It also feeds on pollen. That's the powdery stuff on flowers. When these flowers bloom, they have a very strong smell that attracts the bats. But why was that bat behaving so strange earlier? Dawn bats are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. You must have frightened it with the flash when you took the photo. Oh, no. I'll make sure to switch off the flash next time. Where does it come from? Dawn bats live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Should we return it to its home? There aren't enough dark places for it to rest here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the bat would love that. Let's go. little bat. Which way did it go? It was too fast to see. Katie, take the wheel. I'll search for the bat with my sound detector while you drive. Good idea, Leo. Now let's see. It's this way. Turn here, Katie. Can you see anything? No, but it smells weird here. Hmm. I find it quite nice. It's coming from there. Lead the way, hero. Ugh, the smell is getting stronger. It's the dawn bat. It must have been hungry. Look, it's feeding from that flower. Hey, is that a night blooming plant? This flower is part of the durian tree. And you're right, Leo. The flowers blossom only at night. Are you ready to join us, Dawn Bat? Careful, Leo. See those sharp, spiky things up there? Those are durian fruits. When the durians are ripe, they fall down, so don't stand too close. Thanks for the warning, Katie. At least we found the bat, but I think we're lost. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the home of the Dawn Bat, just look for glowing lights, not for colorful kites or shiny nights, but look for glowing lights. I see. So not for colorful kites or shiny nights, but look for glowing, glowing lights. lights. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the home of the dawn bat, you have to look for glowing lights. Good luck! Okay, 
hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the Dawn Bat's home. Can you see what those are? Correct! Those are birds, not Dawn Bats. Let's continue. Hey, what are those? I see. Those are fireflies. They are the glowing lights. Let's follow them. Can you see what is up ahead? That's right. It's a cave. It must be the Dawn Bat's home. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, both the fireflies and the bats feed from the flowers on the trees. Goodbye, little Dawn Bat. We did it. We found the Dawn Bat's home. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! Today, we found a dawn bat in our garden. We learned that the dawn bat feeds on night-blooming flowers and lives in caves in large groups. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs> <laughs>